issue of Lewitt and perception is a great, is a great one. Um, you know, he makes a distinction between the conceptual versus the perceptual, right? Hmm. So artwork that's made to appeal to the eye, you know, he considers a perceptual art um, as opposed to an art of, uh, that's meant, that's based around, built upon an idea, you know, as being conceptual. But with respect to conceptual versus perceptual, to me, with the spinners, it then goes to, uh, it's not so much conceptual versus perceptual, but conceptual versus the physical, right? Yeah. In, very, in very direct, unmediated fashion, right? Um, the, the body, and that's what I kind of really appreciate about the piece. Again, it's like, in talking about it, it's this really awkward uh, cocktail. It's more like banging two things together that then produces thought. So this is a still a learning experience for me. So I wanted to ask, um, would the idea of this trick fit the definition of conceptual art if, I, uh, if oh. I'm thinking of executing in the same way or if I have the instructions for executing the trick in the same way? Oh, it, and though I, I, that's funny. I don't know. Uh, it's the Borg unicorn, by the way. The, <laughs> is that that movie? Yeah. Do, it's, the, it's the, do the moves have names? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. The Borg unicorn. If he names a trick, the idea of the trick pops into my head instantaneously just because I, I know the, the movements that he's referring to with those words. Right, right. Which, you know, I mean, I, I, asking, I mean, my question for you guys would be, how much do you consider yourselves dancers? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so that's, and, you know, dance as a, you know, the primacy of dance, as a mode of expression, right? Yeah. Versus um, these are moves, you know, if we were to say, okay, let's do the electric slide. Well, we know the moves, yes, right? And it, it, it is oh a dance. God. So it's not like I can't say, it's like numbers are not mathematics. It's like, well, moves are moves dance it's like sometimes yeah. yes sometimes no i, I, I would think, yeah I, I think i would leave it to the definition um i say that because uh i know justin's credited with defining over 200 something tricks um and i think the definitions are what uh or make that would make something a trick rather than a movement or in, in these terms that's what makes a dance instead of just a movement um right. like the movement of walking is notably different than moonwalking yeah you know what i mean so i think in those terms depending on how you define it that's what's gonna make it what it is yeah i mean sign spinning comes from as far as like an origin background, it's, it's much more in the extreme sport range, like skateboarding and uh, you, you know, that kind of thing. Skateboarding, you know, when you think about skateboarding tricks, they're very discreet, they're very finite, yeah. they're, very, they're very prescriptive. You know, right. a, a, the difference between a kick flip and a heel flip is, is fact, yeah. you know? And so um, uh, that is, I think that was what, originally separated sign spinning from dance. You know, I think it would be very easy to interpret sign spinning as a form of dance, but as far as, and I mean, I can tell you this because I'm, I made these tricks. <laughs> so it's like, and, and I'll tell you, uh, so when I first started in 2004, uh, there were 30 tricks you could do. And I was hired uh, at, from a, at a gas station, a guy came in and I uh, was like, you need a job? I was like, yeah. And um, so basically for every trick that you learned, you would get a 10 cent raise. So basic spin, right? You, you can do it, that's a 10 cent raise. Basic flip, 10 cent raise. Suitcase flip, 10 cent raise. Behind the back, 10 cent raise. And, I was, and so, and uh, we got to the Bruce Lee 
which has a, a complicated little hand switch, and I'll show you what it is. So we have this palm up pull, and then it goes to palm out push. But that hand switch is very difficult to learn without that language. That language did not exist. Um, so uh, my teacher, Neil, was explaining this to me, and I was like, I got frustrated, because the way that he was taught, and the, the primary way that science spinning was taught is, it's like this. It's yeah. this. It's just this. Yeah. It's always this. And so I said, well, what if I make up my own tricks? If it has a name and I do it the same way every time, do I get a raise for that? He said, yeah. I was like, well, you can stop teaching me right now because I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna make some money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so it was like, you know, and it, and it just moved on from there. You know, you got your suitcase flare and your suitcase flick and your suitcase flop and your suitcase floop and all of those different things. And I was just like really gaming it out. How many different behind the backs can you do? Let's yeah. do behind the back, no handy. And let's do all these different like things. And so <laughs> that, that initial, what was called the tincentive, right? <laughs> was, uh, uh, was, was me. And I saw that and I was like, there was 30 tricks. Uh, I, me and uh, four or five of my friends from North Carolina uh, took it from 30 to 90 in like the course of a couple of months. Then emailed the CEO and was all like, so how about that raise? He's like, <laughs> you don't know 90 tricks. I'm coming down to Raleigh right now. And we were like, oh yeah, you wanna see this? Here we go. And he's yeah. like, no, you did not just do that. <laughs> and, and that's when the whole thing just opened up. It was like, oh, anything can be done and it can be named. And it, if you can catch it once, you can catch it twice. And that's where it all opened up. And you know, we grew up with Tony Hawk, Pro Skater. I think, I think that's a very common thread in sign spinning mm -hmm. is that video game specifically. And it's like, you get it because it's this combination. It's up and X, it's left and X, it's right and X. So it's like, okay, this is a no handy and this is a reverse no handy, and this is a fakey no handy. And it's like all of these, all of these slight variations and contradictions and just like contrary approaches to all of these different things is what took this chunk and just poof, big bang. And so now 500 probably, whew, when did we get stop counting? Uh, there's a lot. Oh, that's <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot. But I love the idea that naming and codification, yeah. that you took it upon yourself oh, yeah. to say, okay, let's, let's, how many, you know, yeah. let's actually codify, which is very interesting as a basis for it to be considered conceptual, yeah. right? With the naming aspect of it, yeah. right? Yeah. This is like reproducible and knowable, named, categorizable. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, which would then, you know, the idea that numbers are not mathematics, but at the same time, like, is a, uh, is it, is it expressive? Is it, does it function? Are the tricks uh, a kind of language? I'd say yes. Two, one, two.